Hello, my name is Andres and I'm a product marketing specialist at Phoenix Contact and I want to show you the Quint DC to DC converter from Phoenix Contact. This demonstration will highlight the key aspects of the DC to DC converter, converting, amplifying, isolating, regulating, and monitoring. The Quint receives a 24 volt input and provides a 24 volt galvanic isolation output. For the first example, we will show problems caused by voltage fluctuations or battery issues. A converter may come in handy during these situations. When power is coming into a very sensitive device, such as a PLC, you want a constant 24 volt source. On our input side, we have a battery and a display to show our incoming voltage and current. On our output, we have our load, or PLC, and also a display to monitor the voltage and current coming into it. We then turn on our system and add a load to simulate our PLC. Note the voltage is coming in through the DC to DC to converter to our output. When the battery is fully charged, the voltage is 26 volts. The DC to DC regulates this voltage and ensures that the output remains constant 24 volts. We then simulate the battery discharging over time. Without the DC to DC, as the voltage of the battery drops, the voltage to your PLC drops. But with the DC to DC converter, it's still capable of supplying a constant voltage by pulling more current from the battery. Finally, when the voltage from the battery gets below 19.2 volts, the Quint DC to DC outputs a signal to let the user know that the voltage from the battery is running low, but it continues to supply the 24 volts. So it is constantly monitoring the output from the battery and could help you avoid a deep discharge of the battery. Now let's think of a different scenario where you have a machine with long runs of DC wiring. The last machine is placed a distance away from your power source. Due to the increased resistance of a long wire, there is a voltage drop between your end device and your power supply. In this next lab, we switch from using a battery to using a regular power source. We simulate the situation where you have two loads at the end of your line. Notice the load draws a current of 5.2 amps. Even though our power supply is rated for 5 amps, this is possible through the power boost capability. We increase the distance between our power supply and our device using this dial. Therefore, there is a voltage drop across the line. Without the DC to DC converter to amplify the input voltage, your end device will shut down. The final scenario we will show is isolation. In situations where you have sensitive loads, such as your PLC, there may be concern to isolate your motors away from your sensitive device to prevent noise or potential shorts coming from your motor. The DC to DC converter provides this through galvanic isolation. Imagine you have your power coming into your motor on your output side and a PLC on the input side. If there is a short on the motor, it loads down the power supply and demands a high amount of current. During this short, you lose all power to your PLC. When using a DC to DC converter, there is no loss of power to the entire system. Since your system is isolated, if there is a short on your output side, your entire system does not lose power. Converting, amplifying, isolating, regulating, and monitoring in different scenarios are the main advantages that can be obtained by using the Phoenix Contact DC to DC converters. For different configurations and information, please visit phoenixcontact.com quint.